What's up everyone? Welcome back to Magic the Unboxing. And today we are back on our hunt for the Null Rod. Null Rod. For some reason that I really like saying that like that. Anyways, uh, we've been on this weather light thing for a little bit now. I've opened probably 30 plus maybe packs already. And if I see some packs for a pretty reasonable price, I'll buy it and then we'll keep hunting. You know, I thought I would have given up a long time ago, but here we are. Back at it. This is totally like a gambler's mentality. You know, you put so much in and you think you're going to get closer and closer, but in reality, you're not any closer than what you just started off, regardless of how many packs you opened. I think there's a gambler's false something something. Anyways, yeah, we got two packs today. We're going to see uh, what we're going to get. Hopefully you're not too tired of watching Weatherlight openings because unless we get Norod, these are going to keep coming. These are uh, coming from different sellers that I've never bought from before. I mean, these packs look pretty legit from the outside. So I always like to take my time and check out how it is, top and bottom, just to see how the glue is. I mean, the best way to tell, honestly, is just, just see if there's good cards in the pack. If you're buying packs and packs, packs on packs on packs, and you're not getting anything good, then that definitely means something. So we're going to separate the uncommons. We're going to go to the commons. And the weather light set, there's not any really commons that stand out. So here we go. We're going to just go over them real quick. There's a harvest worm. Not a bad card. Imperial armor. It's probably one of the better commons. It's a three mana enchant creature. Uh, enchanted creature gets plus X plus X where X is equal to the number of cards in your hand so it can be pretty powerful you got a land war druid oh man I could smell the ink right here oh that's nice this pack has been kept pretty good I like it it's got that pack fresh old school smell alright we got mana chains Uptabi Ifrit Fit of Rage Rogue Elephant, the Marifold Traders, Cinderwall with a little print dot right there, and the final one is a Razor Tooth Rats. Alright, this is where all the heavy hitters are. You got a Gemstone Mine in the Uncommon slot, and then you got Buried Alive. Gemstone Mine's like $7, Buried Alive I think is about $3. So, let's see what we can get. Okay, the first one is a Phantom Warrior. There's three uncommon, so we have three chances of getting up Gemstone Mine. Phyrexian Furnace. And Argivian Find. No Gemstone Mine. Alright, but we still have a chance at the rare. Are we going to get the No Rod? No Rod. Okay, it's a white card. It's a Serenity. Two mana. Enchantment. During your upkeep, bury all artifacts and enchantments. Ouch. So, it, it could be a pretty good playable card. Let's see what it's going for. Okay, it's a little more than our usual 69 cent rare. But, uh, it says it's going for like $1.38. But for some reason, online... If you're playing Magic the Gathering online, it's like $7? What? That's gotta be a typo or something. Alright, anyways. Here we go, that's our first rare. No hits at all. And then our pack 2 of 2. So are we going to go home empty handed today? Or are we going to hit something good? Alright guys. This journey has been long and hard, I'll tell you that. Every pack opening, it only gets harder. Okay, this one's uh, pretty stubborn, but it 
seem to be rippy rippy pretty good except here. Look at that. Huh. I'm gonna have to look at this pack a little, little more. So that's a little suspect here. Let's go from here. I mean, these things should open pretty good. Oh yeah, look at that. See, it should open like this. You get the right tension, you know what's up. So I'm gonna go back here real quick and check up on this. See what's going on. Let me get the cards out of the pack first. Okay, that's just stubborn. The glue seems good though, nothing fishy I think. Because usually if it's been uh, tampered with or messed with, you can definitely see the glue sentiment on there. Or if the pack opens a little too easy, then that's also pretty suspect. Alright, let's pick this up where we left off. So we got uncommon, 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 and the rare. Oh, harvest worm again. What are the odds of that? All right, got mana chains, a guided strike, blossoming wreath. It's kind of cool. I don't see this common very often. Landor Sentinel, the Dappen Lava Storm, fledging the Jin. All right, let's see what the next one is. It's Ophidian, Abjur, Angelic Renewal, and Vitalize. So we got some pretty cool green cards that's pretty playable here. All right, here we go. Where all the good stuff is. Is this gonna be it? All right, we got Phantom Warrior. Three mana for unblockable, two, two. And then we got the cool Atog, Necrotog. All right, we got an Argivian Restoration. And our rare is going to be... It's an artifact, guys. It's an artifact. Oh, oh, ouch. Thrand home. Oh, that's a killer. That's a not a good one. So, okay, these two packs were no good. Total rejects. Uh, all right, two of those 69% rares. All right, Thrantome is a reserve list, so you get some consolation prize there, but that is not good today. The sad and long and heavy quest for Norod is going to continue. Hey, maybe some of you guys love watching these and love keep it going. All right. We're gonna keep looking for cheap weather light packs, affordable weather light packs, and then we're gonna keep at this. And maybe one day, someday, we're gonna get the Norod. Magic, the unboxing, out.